Good morning, Lancaster Catholic. I'm Corinne Pariski. And I'm Meredith DeBoard. Today is Friday, May 18th, even day four. And here's what you need to know. Today could be the coolest and the wettest day of the week. Expect some pretty heavy rain throughout the day. There's even a chance of some flooding in spots. And there's a chance of showers each day this weekend. Hopefully it won't rain out Saturday's big chicken barbecue at Long's Park. Today's your last chance to buy tickets for $10 from Mr. Sharp's Certine Club. Today is the deadline for all IS students to sign up for finals in the library. You have to fill it out even if you're not taking any finals. On Monday, this year's student council will meet for the last time. Members should come to room 207 during First Crusader period. Monday is also the day seniors can wear their college or military t-shirts. Here's your chance to show off where you'll be going to school next year. Then, on the following Tuesday, the 29th, seniors who return their clean school uniforms can have a full casual dress day. But remember, that means wearing a college t-shirt, your senior class shirt, or any Lancaster Catholic shirt. This coming Tuesday, the 22nd, there's a Spanish Honor Society breakfast in 7.30 a.m. in room 27. New members will be inducted and the senior honor cords will be awarded. Corinne did a report earlier this month about a new service for pet owners. We thought you might like to see it. A local pet clinic is taking its show on the road. Pet Pantry of Lancaster County has launched a mobile unit that will bring medical services to animals in need all around the area. At present, the care unit is only appearing at special events and hopes to establish regular rounds by next year. So, pet owners, keep an eye out for this convenient addition to our area. There's been a lot of talk about charter and independent schools. Claire Longenecker takes a look at the latest one in Lancaster. The Stone Independent School of Lancaster City has expanded after being founded only a year ago. The school that started with less than 25 students has expanded to a new collaborative space presently owned by NXT Book Media. The 16,000 square foot space allows collaborative ideas among students and conversational learning style that is the core of the Stones curriculum. They signed a 10-year lease in hopes that the enrollment will double for the next school year. Congratulations to sophomore Ariana Larson. Her poem, Peace Within Ashes, won third place in the Peace Essay Contest. Don't forget to pick up your copy of the 2018 Literary Journal, Writer Things. You can buy one for a dollar in the cafeteria during both lunches. Check out the fiction, poetry, and memoirs of your classmates. Speaking of literature, the summer reading list for English class is already posted on the Catholic High website. You can get a head start on that list by stopping by the Barnes & Noble store on Monday for the Sacred Heart Book Fair. It runs from 5.30 to 8.30. The Fine and Performing Arts Department produced two wonderful musicals this year, A Christmas Carol and Crazy For You. Here's your chance to be part of next year's productions. There's a meeting in the band room next Thursday, May 24th. Stop by at 3 p.m. And if you're interested but can't make the meeting, see Miss Wagner. Would you like to participate in cross country this fall? You and your parents can find out all you need to know at a meeting Sunday, May 20th at 5 p.m. in the cafeteria. Searching for service hours? Students are needed to clean out the Old Main Auditorium, Backstage Room 101, and the Props Closet during that week of June 11th from 8 a.m. to 11 a.m. You will earn 15 service hours, so please see Miss Wagner ASAP. Hey Mayor, we did the first morning show broadcast together. Oh yeah, now we get to close it out together. For the last time, have a great weekend, Crusaders. Hey.